This is the, one of the wildest things to me of, about Diddy, right? Is that he made an enemy a long time ago in, in a man named 50 Cent. <laughs> No, no, I don't think anybody felt, you know, more vindicated that was on the outer edges of, of Diddy's fear than 50 Cent. 50 Cent had hated that dude for years. You, and look, 50 Cent isn't the one. Don't mess with 50 Cent because not only is he funny, which is already dangerous, he's so funny that you can tell he a natural bully. <laughs> You ever been bullied by somebody and then went and tell people what they did and the people you told were like, that is funny, though. Like, that is... <laughs> I know it's wrong, but that was pretty good. Like, because we're not talking even about bullying in the terms of violence. I'm talking about bullying in, like, waiting for you to get real excited about something and then tricking you right in. Okay. 50 Cent, early in his career... He couldn't stand a dude named Ja Rule. <laughs> if you don't know who Ja Rule is, then 50 Cent did his job. <laughs> 50 Cent hated Ja Rule and hated him in a way that I was like, something deeper is going on here. Because you don't just hate a coworker this bad off or nothing. But he couldn't stand him. He felt like he was fake. There was even a series on BET called Beef. <laughs> beef was amazing. Because Beef would make these many documentaries about different beefs that were happening in, in all of hip-hop, throughout history and currently. And at the time, one of the current ones was 50 Cent and Ja Rule. And they had interviewed both of them because what they would do with the show that was brilliant was that they wouldn't just, like, give you this, like, faceless, voiceover David Attenborough documentary <laughs> style. Like, <laughs> they really got interviews from everybody, you know? And so then they, they interviewed Ja Rule. At one point, he was on the couch with some of his buddies, and they asked him about 50 Cent, and he was just, Who? 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 And they interviewed 50 Cent. And 50 Cent was ready. <laughs> I don't know where 50 Cent was, but I think he made the smart decision to go ahead and be on a balcony or somewhere outside in case he got loud. <laughs> and he just went in on Ja Rule like they had been longtime enemies. These are two dudes who I'm pretty sure don't know each other at all. <laughs> but 50 Cent, at one point, he even said, this dude, I'll never forget this. this. This is when I fully understood, like, hate on a petty level in my life for the first time. Because I was a teenager watching Beef on BET. And they, they had, he was on the balcony, so the balcony railing's about here. And 50 Cent just, they, they did a perfect job with the editing, by the way. They keep cutting back and forth. So every time they give a detail about Ja Rule, 50 Cent said something treacherous, right? It was really... <laughs> It was really great, you know, because then Ja Rule would say something along the lines of, like, I'm a star. I don't need to worry about up-and-comers hating on me, blah, blah, blah. And then it would cut to 50 Cent. 50 Cent would be like, yeah, go hang out with the pop stars and Christina Aguilera, whoever you want, if they'll accept you. <laughs> but, dog, you fake. You're fake. You're fake. Like, it was like he was getting angrier and angrier throughout the interview. And I remember the interview because the last time they cut to him, I've never seen anything like it. This, they cut to this dude one last time, and he just went, Psh. <laughs> 50 Cent hated Ja Rule, and then Ja Rule got into it with Eminem. And Eminem and Dr. Dre had you know, signed 50 Cent, and they, they were a huge part of his career, especially on the come up, and they collaborated a bunch, and they, you know, were touring together. They would have toured together more um, if, if Eminem hadn't decided to stay home and be with family and stuff like that. They tight, right? Making incredible music together, classics. And Ja Rule went at 50 Cent, went at Eminem, because he didn't 
he didn't have a crystal ball. He couldn't see the future. <laughs> and it went terribly for him. I mean, Eminem just ripped him apart in several songs with references. That, there were moments, Eminem is too funny, you know? <laughs> Eminem had a song with him. Haley's in the song, and she's like, is Ja Rule bigger than me? And Eminem said, no, sweetie, y'all are the same size. <laughs> And M Eminem, for, for his part, was very much above board. I don't really have a problem with you. I was, even, I was even almost about to squash it. And then you mentioned my daughter's name. My daughter's a kid, man. And so he just went at him, right? And destroyed him thoroughly. But 50 Cent was on a different level. <laughs> 50 Cent was like, I don't think that this will ever be over. <laughs> I don't care what you say. I don't care what you do. I don't care if you apologize to me. Never be over. I can't stand this dude. And Ja Rule goes to prison at one point. I don't remember what for. <laughs> A part of me thinks 50 Cent had something to do with it, but I do like... <laughs> There's no way for me to tell. But, <laughs> but then, if I have my timing right, Ja Rule gets out of prison, and no matter when, I, I could be wrong about the timing here, but I know that the thing happened. Basically, Ja Rule has a concert, and it's gonna be like a big comeback, like get my career going type of concert, you know? Like a welcome home party, a revival of Ja Rule's career. And the tickets actually sell fast, which I was perplexed by. Because I was like, how? <laughs> Not even as a hater, just like, I don't know. It's like if you found out everybody in the world was actually into air hockey, you'd be like, I had no idea. <laughs> you always see the table there, but I didn't. <laughs> so the tickets were selling fast, and you know, nobody was probably more excited than Ja Rule. And then the day comes for the concert, and Ja Rule goes out, and it turns out that 50 Cent had bought most of the seats. <laughs> I do my best to put myself in other people's shoes. <laughs> and I try to imagine what it would be like if I, if I came out here and y'all weren't here. <laughs> if it was just three of y'all in the back that I had to yell to. <laughs> Imagine that, trying to, <laughs> trying to still do the show. Yeah, it's crazy out here. <laughs> but I said all that to say that 50 Cent and everything that happened is to show you that that's the dude that hated Diddy. <laughs>